Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video. Today we're doing another Witch's Moon box. I'll put some details about the box in the description below, but right now I'm ready to go ahead and open up this month's box. This is gonna be for March of 2020. And that's what the box looks like inside. So we have our monthly oracle card. And the theme this month is Ascended Guides. So first we have this lovely piece of artwork on Ascended Guides. And then inside the box, looks like that, a lot of paper snakes. So first we have our spell candle, and that is a lovely shade of deep purple. And next we have some salts, and these say Lady of the Lake. That is some awesome artwork on the front there. Kind of smells like men's cologne. We've created this Lady of the Lake Sacred Salt with the intention of providing you further access to spiritual knowledge and insight. We've enchanted this sacred salt with avocado, rosemary, eucalyptus, spearmint, and basil oils, as well as spearmint, rosemary, lemon balm, linden, eucalyptus, wood betony, blackberry leaf, and eulothero root. I may not have pronounced that right. We've also included a special mixture of our Saragwin magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of this sacred salt. And then we have some muslin bags, so there must be some tea in here. And this says Herbal Tea Jupiter. We've placed this Jupiter Herbal Tea blend within this collection to assist you in your journey towards enlightenment. Jupiter is associated with not only legends of luck, but with a path of eagerness towards finding answers. This rich and deep herbal blend has been created with green tea, rosemary, sage, safflowers, and rose petals. Next we have some oil, and that says Ascended Masters on it. it smells a little bit like lemongrass, kind of medicinal. We've created this magical anointing oil with the intention of attracting ancient knowledge and wisdom into your workings. We've enchanted this magical oil with frankincense, rosemary, lemongrass, and chamomile oils, and have included blue cornflower, mugwort, and lemongrass herbs as well. Inside your oil, you'll find a Lemurian quartz, said to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our Wise Council magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. Next, we have some rope incense. It's musky. That is Nog Champa Ritual Rope Incense. Named after Satya Sai Baba, Nag Champa is created using natural herbs, gums, and sandalwood. Handmade in Nepal, this wonderfully fragrant set of ritual rope incense is a great addition to any ritual that requires a stable and relaxed state of mind. I could use some relaxation right now. And next we have a candle holder. A much requested item for our hand rolled spell candles, we've included a brass spike candle holder. This wonderful candle holder can be used to sturdy any candle of your choice and to use while you write within your book of shadows or perform rituals. To clean previous wax from the surface, we recommend placing in your freezer overnight and then simply removing the wax after it has been taken out. That actually does come in handy. I'm going to use this a lot. <laughs> and next we have some herbs. So we've got peppermint leaf and dandelion leaf. And next we have a token of wisdom spell to go with the spell candle. Hand rolled and anointed token of wisdom spell candle with spell artwork. We've hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of enhancing your ability to receive messages from guides. This candle has been enchanted with a special mixture of our spirit guide magical anointing oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. And next we have a couple pieces of artwork. There is something that says just book of shadows. That's gorgeous and then a dedication and I'm guessing those are supposed to go with this lovely book of shadows it's got a elastic band around it to keep it together flap it opens in the front it's unlined pages and then the back has this beautiful tree on it Handmade Book of Shadows with flower pressed paper. So there's like little bits of flower pressed to the paper. This beautiful Book of Shadows slash spirit journal was handmade for this very collection, exclusively for the subscribers of The Witch's Moon. Each page of handmade paper has been pressed with flower petals to exude our connection with nature. 
We have placed this book of shadows within this collection to provide you with a platform to document and communicate your experiences with your guides. On the front of this book of shadows, we have placed the winged twin serpent. This serpent has been etched into the fabric of almost all cultures and magical practices. The Celts associated the snake with fertility and wisdom. The Greeks and Romans inscribed the snake on altars as a symbol of the guardian spirit. In ancient China, serpents were associated with intelligence, wisdom, and communication. This very specific design portrays the life force energy of Kundalini Serpent. Associated with many magical workings, the Kundalini represents our past, present, and future. Placed on the back of this Book of Shadows is the sacred oak tree, or tree of life, representing our beautiful connection to the elements. Our intention for placing this sacred tree on the back of this book is to bring the fundamental elements of magic into your workings and inspiration. We send you energies of inspiration and enlightenment as you work with your guides on your beautiful and sacred path. All right, that was a pretty cool box. Uh, but that's everything that I have in the box for you today. So I hope you like my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe below if you'd like to watch more of my unboxing videos. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.